The final strategy we will look at is to eliminate possibilities. So suppose you are guaranteed that a problem has a solution. We use the data of the problem to decide what outcomes are impossible, then at least one of the possibilities not ruled out must prevail. And if you can rule out everything except for one possibility, then that one possibility must be the answer. So the quote Sherlock Holmes, when you have eliminated all which is impossible, then whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. So for example, Beth, Jane, and Mitzi play on a basketball team. Their positions are forward, center, and guard. Given the following information, determine who plays each position. So Beth and the guard bought a milkshake for Mitzi. And what that tells me is that Beth is not the guard. So I can cross that out. And for that matter, Mitzi is not the guard. So that means Jane has to be the card, uh, has to be the guard. which means Jane cannot be the center or the forward. And the next clue, Beth is not a forward, so I can cross that off as a possibility, which means the only, thing, the only possibility left is that Beth is the center, and that leaves Mitzi as the forward. So what we have here is that Beth is the center, Jane is the guard, and Mitzi is the forward. For another example, the Three Stooges are a real pain. When you ask one of them a question, they all, they all answer. Furthermore, one of them always lies, and the other two answer truthfully. So suppose I ask them who is the smartest. They reply this way. Um, Curly says that uh, Curly is not the smartest. Mo says that Larry is the smartest. And Larry says that Curly is the smartest. So who really is the smartest and who is the liar? Well, let's try to figure out, let's try to eliminate some possibilities. So let's suppose Curly is the liar. Let's go with that. So if Curly is the, um, if it's lying, then Curly is the smartest. That is what Curly is trying to say. If he is the liar, then Curly is really saying that he is the smartest. But that means that Mo and Larry are both telling the truth, and Mo is saying that Larry is the smartest. Um, and those both can't happen at the same time. So that means we can eliminate Curly as the liar. So let's try this with the next one. Let's suppose Mo is the liar. So that means that Curly and Larry are telling the truth. So Curly is not the small, uh, not the smartest. Oops. But Larry is also telling the truth and saying that Curly is the smartest. And I'll. Those both can't happen, which means that Mo can't be the liar. If I eliminate the possibilities, that means it's got to be Larry. So let's go with Larry being the liar. That means that Curly is not the smartest. And Mo is also telling the truth, so Larry is the smartest. So, and then Larry lying, saying it says that Curly is not. That matches up with what we have with the other two. So the smartest has got to be Larry, who is also the liar. So in both cases, Larry is the smartest and the liar. As for the final strategy I mentioned at the beginning, working together, I don't have any particular examples for this other than when people work together, they can uh, each contribute ideas and pool their knowledge. Also, each person might have a different approach to the problem. So sometimes it is simply that each person contributes part of the solution and then together they have the same solution. Other times when people cooperate and communicate, something magical happens. 
Together they moved to a new level and accomplished things that none of them could have accomplished alone. All right, final, uh, for this final slide of this lesson, just summarize the problem solving strategies. We can make a drawing or tape or diagram, make a table or list, guess, check and revise, work backwards, use a formula or equation, make a model, compare with a similar or simpler problem, eliminate possibilities, and then nothing else, work with other people.